हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द डाइजेशन इन ह्यूमन बीइंग नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डाइजेशन इन ग्रास ईटिंग एनिमल्स एंड द फीडिंग एंड डाइजेशन इन अमीबा दिस टू आर द टू आर द टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे Okay, let's start. Cows and buffaloes are some common example for the animals that eat grass. Have you observed these animals chewing continuously even when they are not eating? Actually, they quickly swallow the grass and store it in a part of the stomach called rumen. here the food gets partially digested and this partially digested food present in rumen is called cud the cud is then returns to the mouth in small lumps and animals chew it this process is called rumination and the animals are called ruminants you know that these animals are herbivores that is these animals eat only plants actually the grass is rich in cellulose what is cellulose it is a type of carbohydrate animals like cattle deer etc can digest cellulose but human being cannot digest the cellulose do you know why these animals that is ruminants have a large sac like structure called cecum between the esophagus and the small intestine there is a sac like structure between esophagus and the small intestine so there is bacteria present in this sac like structure that bacteria helps for the digestion of cellulose but in the case of humans this bacteria are not present ruminants can digest cellulose with the help of certain bacteria present in the sac like structure now we are going to discuss about the feeding and digestion in amoeba do you know one thing amoeba do not have a mouth and a digestive system then how do they acquire and digest food Okay let's see Have you heard about amoeba It is a microscopic single celled organism found in pond water It is a microscopic what is the meaning of microscopic It is a very 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 small organism that can see that we can see only with the help of microscope we cannot see this micro organism with our naked eye amoeba do not have a fixed shape it can constantly changes its shape and position amoeba have a cell membrane a rounded dense nucleus and many small bubble like vacuoles in its cytoplasm Do you know what is cytoplasm? It is a gel-like liquid present, okay, in amoeba. In the cell of amoeba, there is a gel-like liquid. That liquid is called cytoplasm. The cytoplasm consists of a cell membrane, 
an dense nucleus and many bubble like vacuoles amoeba pushes out one or more finger like projections called pseudopodia or false feet for movement and capture of food like human being in the case of amoeba also there is there are five steps involved in the process of nutrition they are ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and finally ejection first one is ingestion it is the process of taking food inside the body amoeba moves continuously whenever it senses the food particle it spread a finger like structure around the particle this structure is called pseudopodia or false feet of amoeba this pseudopodia helps for movement and capture of food amoeba encircles its pseudopodia around the food particle and takes it to inside its body we say that amoeba engulfs the food it results in the formation of food vacuole which contain food particle next step is digestion that is the process of breakdown of complex components of food into simpler substances the cell contain a gel like liquid called cytoplasm the cytoplasm of amoeba secrete digestive enzymes into food vacuole that food vacuole contain food particle so cytoplasm secrete digestive enzyme into food vacuole this enzyme act on the food particle and convert the food particle into simpler substances this simpler substances then get diffused into the cytoplasm this process is called absorption the undigested waste remain in the food vacuole the food entering cytoplasm is used for energy growth maintenance and for multiplication this is called assimilation and the last step is ejection the undigested food or the undigested waste is taken near the cell membrane and then thrown outside the cell body how by rupturing the food sorry the uh, by rupturing the membrane the undigested waste is then thrown outside the body by rupturing or breaking the cell membrane this process is called ejection amoeba takes food using finger like extensions of cell surface called as pseudopodia they fuse over the food particle by forming a food vacuole inside amoeba that food vacuoles complex substances are broken down into simple substances then these simple substances diffuses into cytoplasm the remaining undigested material is moved to the surface of cell and thrown outside thank you